Saving the World's Finite Resources Through P Recycling by Anne, Dale and Ollie. There are 50 million toilets in the UK and 9,000 wastewater treatment works. An adult produces 500 litres of urine a year on average. Human urine contains phosphorus, nitrogen and ammonia, which are used in fertilisers. These nutrients are finite resources and are required for food production. Phosphorus is running out. The supply has been estimated to last another 100 years only. Currently, wastewater treatment works separate out sewage sludge from the wastewater. Sewage sludge is often spread as a fertiliser onto crops. Wastewater is then treated separately and released into watercourses. Our method can be added to, onto this system and it's possible to extract the nutrients phosphorus, nitrogen and ammonia and recycle them. Raw sewage enters the wastewater treatment works and goes through the primary clarification stage. This removes the majority of the sewage sludge. The wastewater and the remainder of the sewage sludge passes through an aerator and into the secondary clarification stage. Any remaining sewage sludge is removed. Normally, after this point, the water waste is chlorinated and put into the rivers. But with our method, the water waste is passed through a tank whereby crystallisation occurs. The tank is heated, the water evaporates and the nutrients crystallise. The crystals will be separated into each chemical and ground into usable forms, which will then be mixed into correct concentrations for control of methods of application as fertilisers to cropping systems, in particular when compared to sewage sludge which has non-consistent nutrient rates. This method increases short-term costs of wastewater treatment, however long-term benefits and cost savings should make this an appealing option. Recycling nutrients through P-recycling slows down the depletion of limited resources by reducing mining. Crystallising the nutrients by the addition of this simple process has significant economic and environmental benefits. Overall, we believe that this is a sustainable and viable method to ensure the continued supply of nutrients for food production into the future.